hello, I'm a baboon, and thank you for joining me today. We're going to play a little bit of The Darkest Dungeon. Uh, this is a game that I've been wanting to play on stream for a long time. I've watched it streamed a lot. I've played a bunch on iPad, and I am... I just love it. I love everything about it. Um, but I've never actually finished a game. So we're going to see if we can do that. Um... I'm going to go ahead and start a new campaign. I don't think that one was actually even a real campaign. I think that was just uh, something I um, had played with before just to see if the game worked. Okay, so we got all the DLC. Um, yeah, we like the Crimson Court. That's cool. So this is normal. Darkest is the normal mode. I don't want to go on easy. Um, and I don't want to go on the hard mode either. I, don't, I just want the normal difficulty. And, uh, cool. Let's do this. Is this how we do this? No. How do we do this? Click on it. There we go. <laughs> it's a little di different on iPad, but, um, yeah, here we go. Intro cinematic. At least. It winds with a troubling serpent like suggestion through the corrupted countryside. <laughs> like how everything is just so. It's just so. Terrible. Everything is terrible. And on its writhing path, you will face viciousness, violence, and perhaps other damnably transcendent terrors. Great. Ghostly apparitions. So steal yourself, and remember there can be no bravery without madness. <laughs> the old road will take you to hell. But in that gaping Why <laughs> We will find our redemption. Why was the driver driving like a maniac, though? Why was he driving so bad that he crashed? Uh Oh, is he the caretaker? Okay, okay. So he's just crazy. I got it. Cool. He's crazy. That's easy enough. All right. Excellent. Um map. Well, here we go. Let me let me adjust some audio options. Audio. Let me raise the master volume. And let me lower the sound effects volume by 15 and see if that makes it better. Cuz I want to hear the narrator, but I don't want to hear like all the really loud sound effects all the time. We should keep moving. Yeah, no kidding. Let's hang out in this spooky forest and graveyard. Brigand Cutthroat, you must die. Ooh, the wicked uppercut slice. All right, get wrecked. Um. Okay, 25 gold. Wonderful. And... Valuables. Very good. Ooh. Leave nothing unchecked. There is much to be found in forgotten places. All right. Oh, we got the dot. Excellent. All right. This is going to work out. This is going to work out great. Let's go for the stun. We got the stun. Ooh, I'm feeling good about this. I'm feeling really good about this. All right. Um, 
Let's get another dot. Yes. Does that just mean he's toast? Oh, not, not quite. He gets to shoot. Ugh. Okay, well, we're fine. Um, let's go ahead and get rid of him. Nice dodge. This presents a problem because now we have to shoot past this guy. Hopefully, I can't actually do anything. Just, like, I have to kill his corpse before I can do a darn thing. Ah. Nope. Dodged. <laughs> I wonder if anybody's ever lost this fight. I mean, it's technically possible, but you would have to just be absolutely terrible, I think, at the game. Maybe on the harder difficulty. Alright. We get out of here, go back to the hamlet. A decent amount of heirlooms and rewards. Um... To and we got beast hater, which is good. Ansi and deviant taste. I think deviant taste just means that he can't go to the brothel, which is fine. Ansi is Ansi might be problematic. I forget what it does. I love the randomness in this game. I really do. Okay, so. First of all, we go here, Stagecoach. We need to grab our new heroes, and we need to upgrade the network. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and get one more deed. I'm going to get one more deed tr by trading so that I can upgrade the network so that I can have four heroes the next time through. So I have a full, a full second party um, after I come back from my first quest. Uh, hey, Virtus. Um, it's easy to lose on this first fight if a random player decides to kill your hero. In this game, this is normal. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right. It, it could be... It could be a, a random crit or two could, could end... The game. Alright, we can watch cinematics. Uh, ooh. Um, uh, that's a good item. That's... Mm. I would like that item. Alright. No trinkets. Right, so let's go see what we got for the first quest. Um... Drop them in. This is really nothing to do because that's I have to I have to play this one dungeon. I could go here, I guess. <laughs> oh, it won't actually let you go, of course. Yeah, because they're not high enough level. Um. All right, let's do it. Let's jump in. So we want. It's a short. It's a short one. So get like nine torches. Do I need... It's the ruins. I probably don't need this many shovels. Uh, yeah, let's just take two. Um, couple keys is fine. And I need the food so that I don't die. And I guess we got one of those and one of those. I guess one of these maybe. And a bandage. I'm not sure what curios I'm going to reach uh, first, so might as well. I think the runes is definitely the um, easiest to play. I guess that's why they put you there first. Um, but everything is kind of straightforward in the runes. Uh, whereas the others have a lot of like really weird creatures and like subtly shifted um, tactics in them. 
Although I must say, I really I do like the cove. Um, I feel like the cove is not super difficult. All right, so let's uh, put the torch up. I gotta use the key commands because uh, I'm used to playing on iPad and it doesn't have them. So, uh, oh, you don't have any. <laughs> You seriously don't have any attacks? Oh, that re... That, wait, is this an attack? Oh, this is an attack. Okay. I was like, dang, he doesn't have any attacks. Of course you resisted. Have a stun. Um, at least this guy's got attacks. Yeah, cool. Alright. These guys are super weak, so easy. Okay, so it's unlocked. Good. Excellent. And a scout ping. Great. Okay, so there is a, a blockage and a fight. So we've got that to look forward to. Hopefully it's a... Okay, not too bad. And we get the surprise. I feel like the first dungeon, they, they go super easy on you. Oh, play grenade. He does have play grenade. I just couldn't do it because there were only two guys, of course. That makes sense. All right, let's definitely try for this stun. Nice. Okay, let's just... Um, uh, can I see... How do I see the dot? Let me just shoot him, because that's that's surely that dot's not enough. How do I tell? I can't, I guess. Uh, let's get rid of this guy. Nice dodge. I think it's dead to the dot, but I can't see what the dot is doing, because the mouse over is not working. Hmm. Uh, Virtus, yeah, you can give me tips. I've I've played a lot on iPad, although I've never finished one. Um, but yeah, you can give me tips. the 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 tip I'm looking for right now is how to see what this dot will do. How do I see that? Because okay, well, I clicked, and that that's what happened. Hmm. I guess I just give you a little bit of this. It died anyway. But yeah, I want to see what the dot is doing. How do I... Hmm. Nice. A little stress healing. And we get rid of the bone rabble. Okay. Excellent. You just got to figure out what the how to give the tips because... Um, and I guess we go this way first. Towards the treasure. Oh, actually, this is, is this the room battle? Room battle with treasure, and that's room battle with curio, right? The the mouse overs are not working, are they? Did I turn something off by accident? <laughs> Never again. What does that What does that do? Hmm. Uh, other. Tu I can tur turn tutorials off. Hmm. Interesting. This guy usually has, like, a bad ability, right? How do I see him? Right click. Perfect. Okay. Um, yeah, he's a kleptomaniac. Perfect. Perfect. We love kleptomaniacs. All right. I definitely am shooting this one. Mm-hmm. 
Yep. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's go for the stun again, because I really don't like the stress casters acting, especially on my level zero characters. And we'll go ahead and make sure that it dies. That blight should kill it. Question mark. Yeah. Okay. So let's um, let's just ruin this guy's day. Yep. Evasion determines the chance to avoid attack. Uh, evasion determines the chance to avoid an attack. It is directly subtracted from the accuracy of the attacker, and the result is a chance to launch an attack with 100% accuracy of the attack. So each evasion point gives a 1% chance to avoid the attack. Okay, yeah, I was asking actually about the like little dot. How do I how do I find out what damage it's doing the next turn? But that's helpful, definitely. Um, okay. I guess we should heal? Throw a heal on there. Yeah, that'll work. He's got a little bit of protection. And oh, I can't actually hit him, so let's just give it. Let's just bump up um, our Crusader's health a little bit. Cool. Done. Not a hard fight, I guess. Once again, I think that they go super easy on you in the, t the first dungeon. A chest with a family sigil. I think we want this because it gives us extra goodies. What does this do? See, I feel like there's supposed to be an mouse over is not working, right? Because it should tell me what this is when I mouse over it. And it's not. I mean, I know what that is. That's a stun charm. But I don't know why it's not working. It's not telling me that. Super weird. Um... I think we're going to backtrack to this fight, even though it's probably worth a little bit of stress. Um, yeah, there it is. I just want to, uh, I see that there's nothing ahead in on that corridor and I don't, I don't want to, I want to go just for the trap. Main accuracy is for the heroes who do a lot of damage. In this game, the main accuracy is for he those heroes who do a lot of damage and for tanks the main armor gotcha um if only treasure could staunch the flow of otherworldly corruption yes if only all right cool um see once again this should tell me what this does like i have to go over here and even then, it's not telling me. It's not giving me a mouse over. Which is super odd. I wonder if... If I alt-tab out... And then alt-tab back in... If it'll come back. No, it's not still. Alright, never mind. Keep going. I'll just play blind. No biggie. I think I know what most of the abilities do by sight, I think. Back to the pit. Now he's going to get a shot off. Nice. Nice dodge. Nice dodge. Skeletons are so easy to fight. It's fun. It's almost f enjoyable. Um, let's just get a heal off. Yeah. I mean, he's going to come back and hit me, but whatever. Um, I can't even get the front right guy. 
I I know he's gonna die, right? He's only got two HP. He's gonna die. So let me just get the heal off. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. Easy. <sighs> now, what does this do? I cannot recall. Um, it's a blessing of some kind if you touch it. It's... Uh, let's give it to him. Oh, no. It's cool. It's treasure. Okay, cool. Perfect. Probably even better at this stage of the game. I don't really care what what my people have as far as like abilities and stuff. I kind of just want um, easy. Um, chat says about evasions, they're only needed by support and dog breeders. Okay. Good to know. Let's get this loot. Sweet loot. Oh, we're actually full. Um, well, let's uh, use that. There we go. Perfect. Sure, we can do that. We can eat some food. Um, we are not finished. I don't know what your what game you're playing, but there is a whole nother <laughs> room here with treasure, and we are definitely continuing on. We bought we brought two shovels just for such a Okay, this will be the hardest fight we've had by far. Because we've got a heavy stress caster. Um, the DPS guy in the back. Uh, super protection guy. Alright, so let's... let's. He's This one's already gone. Do I want to... Prevent another stress nuke? Or do it? Yes, I do. What, what, why am I even... Ask, asking this question. I, the question was, should I stun this guy? I was, was what I was thinking, but I guess, you know, whatever. Uh, let's do the play grenade, get that blight up. Um, wow, he's almost dead. That's awesome. Okay. Don't move, please. Uh, and stun. Okay, this easy fight's starting to look a little harder. We're going to go ahead and try to get rid of this guy. Nope, he didn't die. This is this is how you lose fight. You lose uh, battles right here. Should we judgment on this guy? Because I don't think that's a four. That's a four point blight. Should we just go for the heal? We go for a party heal. Um, this guy needs to die, but so does this guy. Should have gone for that party heal. Um, let's hit him with this and see if we can get the stun. Nice. But he died, so it actually didn't matter. Um, let's hit these guys with the AOE. Give him a little bit of that holy, holy light. Okay, let's see if we can't kill this guy. No, not stress. Let's see if we can get this done. Perfect. It's, it was possible to lose a character in this fight. I don't think I would have, I don't think there's a, there's a scenario where I'm losing this fight. But it was super possible to lose a, uh, one of the characters. That's a nice crit. That's actually really cool. Keep going with this AoE, and this should end this guy. Perfect. Perfect. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. 
Yes, it is. Um, okay, what am I getting rid of? Because these are definitely coming with me. Probably the shovels. Yeah. Okay, how do I get rid of you? Can I get rid of you? I want to. I want to throw you out. How do I do that? Do I like shift click? There we go. Okay, cool. Cool. We got it. And let's get some extra goodies. Okay, we need to throw something else out. Uh, I guess the torches. And uh, this too, since we didn't pay for it. All right. Yay! All right. Money, 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 money. Uh, money and a lot of heirlooms, actually, which was good. Not a lot of money, but the heirlooms are really useful. And let's see what horrible quirks we picked up. Night blindness, sickly. Uh, okay. Just night blindness. And sickly is not good. Night blindness is probably not that big of a deal.